Hello, I'm Mrs Pearce and I'm Head of Food. And today I'm going to talk to you about why you could consider taking the hospitality and catering option. This course is designed to develop your practical cooking skills as well as giving you an insight and understanding of how the hospitality and catering industry works at different levels. This ranges from the kitchen brigade, executive chefs through to kitchen porters, to housekeeping and management positions and the different roles and responsibilities of the restaurant brigade from front of house to sommeliers. Throughout the course you'll develop an understanding of the different roles within the hospitality and catering industry and the skills and qualifications you would need to pursue these careers. We follow the WJEC hospitality and catering industry specification. It's made up of two units. Unit 1 is a theory unit and it's worth 40% of the final grade and unit 2 is a scenario based coursework project with the scenario being set by the exam board um, and it has a practical cooking element to it. To pass this course at level 1 or level 2 you must complete all of the assessment criteria as well as both the written exam and practical exam. As well as developing your practical preparation and cooking skills this course will develop links with other subjects you will learn about more about food provenance and sustainability, which links to geography. You will be learning about diet and health issues, which link to science and sport. Your numeracy skills will be developed through the practical application of costing and planning menus and being able to round up recipes. This course is a vocational course, which is an equivalent to a GCSE. So why study hospitality and catering? We have found that this course works really well for the students at Carshorton High School for Girls and allows them to succeed if they are focused and willing to work. It gives them very good grounding for further higher level courses. Students have gone from here to other catering colleges, including Westminster, where chefs such as Jamie Oliver and Gordon Ramsay trained. Let's have a look at some other reasons. You will be learning a new range of skills and techniques, including different types of vegetable cuts, deboning a chicken, filleting a fish, making pasta and making different types of pastry. You'll also be encouraged to research different types of cuisine and use these influences in the dishes that you design. And you'll also be able to explain how to create dishes with ethically sourced ingredients and why this may be important. The presentation of your food is also going to be very important and you will practice different styles of food presentation within a culinary arts project. Reason 2. Taste testing and experimentation with flavours and textures are important when developing ideas for new recipes. Not only will you be cooking one-off dishes, but you will be expected to cater for an event where you will work with others in the kitchen to produce larger batches of food. This will help to develop your communication, time management and teamwork skills, as well as applying your numeracy skills to work out the quantities of ingredients needed. When developing menus for others, it's also important to consider people's dietary needs and the consequences of not doing so. We'll also look at the risks associated with the industry and the laws that are put in place to minimise these risks. Reason 3. This is a vocational course and it has a practical controlled assessment task which is worth 60% of the overall grade. In the exam, you will have four hours to cook two dishes which you will have developed the recipes for. Generally, you'll be expected to cook in school once a fortnight, but we would like you to develop your skills at home too, if that's at all possible. And reason four. The written exam is only 90 minutes long and covers four learning objectives. It will assess your knowledge of the industry, including different types of provision from five-star luxury hotels to schools and hospital provision. Reason 5, our brand new kitchens, our bright new airy spaces are a much calmer environment to work in. You'll have much more space to practice and develop your dishes using our new induction hobs and fan ovens. So where could this course lead you? You could go on to study at a higher level course to become a professional chef, or you could become an apprentice, working and learning at the same time. It could lead you to study for a degree in events management. If you dream of managing major sports events, festivals, and exhibitions, or want to get involved in wedding planning and incentive travel, the events sector is full of exciting opportunities. Managing events is big business too, with the in industry estimated to be worth more than £70 billion in the UK alone. You could travel the world, working in five-star hotels, 
or being part of the catering corps in the armed services, or you could set up your own business. If you have any questions about this course, please come and see me, Mrs Pearce, or Ms Bryce, or email us to ask any further questions about this course. Thank you for listening.